Hello everyone, I just want to share a really interesting experiment that I've done on using Dahua uh, artificial intelligence system. What you can see here is a police sketch of a guy as a suspect. Uh, this is a uh, Timothy McVeigh. Uh, he was responsible for the bombings that uh, occurred in the United States in 1995. Bombings that killed more than 160 people. Uh, they were looking for this guy using this police sketch that they prepared, like talking with the guys that rented uh, a car for this guy. But what we can do with this kind of sketch with current technology, with current uh, equipment, what you can see here is IVSS, the new platform from the Dahua, using uh, deep learning solutions. Yeah, uh, So we put a picture inside, actually not a picture, but police sketch, and we can use this sketch to search recordings from our cameras. What you have to do is only like put the similarity here, how similar the person should be. You just type in what kind of camera you want to search the recordings from and hit the search button. And from around 2000 faces that we have in the current database, 2000 faces, different people from different videos. Actually, what you can see here are pictures of a guy and also like uh, still frames from from videos right now i'm using like youtube video yeah uh, it doesn't matter what kind of video you are using for this platform because it uh, supports third party cameras actually the, the camera it, it doesn't have to use any kind of video analytics because all the analytics are based on the server of the dahua ivss server what else we can do we can put this kind of picture in our suspect list eh? like blacklist of uh, uh, inside the, the IVSS and we can use this list on live cameras. As you can see here, I'm using the Dahua uh, HDMI to OnViv uh, encoder so I can uh, just display any kind of video that I can play on the laptop. Here is a YouTube video actually. Uh, and using this video right now, I can just run the face analysis software on it. Yeah. Oh, as you can see here. The face is captured and in a moment yes we have an alarm using the police sketch as as you can see the similarity was almost 70 percent of course this can trigger some kind of like false alarms but still when you have something like stadium you have like train station you don't need to stop let's say 100 people you just need to pick up the 10 of them yeah the suspects that uh, the system will just uh, show you. Here, for example, I'm using really low quality image. Uh, some, some old analog camera recordings from the past of this guy. He is younger here, uh, but still, look, in a moment, we have. In a moment, yeah, and it's here. We have our suspect, right? On the blacklist, sex 69%. This is the guy that we are looking for. Here also you can see the red border around this face. This is also like triggering the alarm. Yeah, this is the person that we are looking for. Uh, what else? Look here. For example, we have another picture, uh, another video with the picture of the guy in a moment. Uh, this is also a younger version of this guy, yeah? but still the system can compare. And here the system is like... 81% sure that this is the guy that we are looking for. So as you can see, the new software, the new artificial intelligence algorithm that we have inside our the, uh, Dahua IVSS platform or our face recognition cameras, we can use them to find people, uh, the suspects on live cameras. You can use it on any camera that you have actually on the system. Uh, imagine that you will just put this kind of server on any airport, train station, city surveillance, because this server can use this kind of analysis on up to uh, 32 cameras. So actually, you can, depending on the situation, you can just, let's say, if there is some kind of like football match, you just enable this kind of analysis of all entrance cameras that you have on the stadium. But if there is some kind of situation that you are looking for a person, suspect, in a city, you can just disable the stadium cameras and enable the cameras inside the city. And you can use this kind of license just to search for the actually the thing that you are you need, yeah, you're looking for on live. Or 
you, of course, you can just run this kind of analysis on the cameras that you're recording and then use a search function to find the person where he is. If you combine this with EMAP, let's say for the city or a shopping mall or train station, whatever, you can really precisely just find the right person, yeah, the person that you are looking for. So that's it. If you have any questions about the IVSS and the Dahua face recognition system, just find your local guy from the Dahua and ask the questions or you can just message me on the private. Thank you for your time.